Hello, hello, hello. This is Wendy with Wendy's Paper Junk. And I just wanted to show you what I made. <laughs> Hopefully it'll give you guys some ideas. Um, this is not a bag. It's not a purse. Okay. This is, I'm calling it a dust, dust jacket for your journal or something to hold your journal or your papers and notes that you plan to put on it. Um, Basically, you know, it's a journal for this size for, you know, sewing one and you tuck it in and maybe if you just want to sit it on your shelf or, you know, put it away and this keeps, you know, keeps it nice and contained. Uh, basically, it's kind of just a zippered bag. Here's the front. It's quilted. Here's the back. It's got a red zipper. And then there's the inside. How pretty and basically you just put your journal journal in here zip it up and there you go um now this one's already claimed so sorry everybody <laughs> but i kind of wanted to kind of just tell you a little bit about it um one thing um here i think i can show you okay i have another one okay normally i have clear shelf lining or contact paper or vinyl clear vinyl okay so normally when i have the clear stuff i would put it on one side and put it on the other side okay i got the wrong stuff this time and this is white shelf liner not the clear it's white okay um you can get this everywhere walmart dollar general dollar tree target how i mean everybody has shelf liner apparently but some people call it contact paper some people call it shelf liner um but i recommend get the clear <laughs> the clear stuff okay this one's not so it's kind of just like a big old white sticker so since i didn't have the clear i couldn't double you know, double it, put it on the front and put it on the back. If I, if I would have had the plastic on the front, then this would have been a lot more durable. You could use it as a bag and go out and about with it. As it is, I just had that. So I backed it with the shelf liner. Okay. And then on the front, a very fine layer of Mod Podge. Okay. Let it dry. And then you're going to put a second layer of Mod Podge on this. Okay thin layers okay thin all right and let it dry then you can commence sewing your fabric strips around both pieces sewing it together and putting your zipper in okay and of course your your lining okay um when i had to turn this inside out of course this does not crumble well and I ended up tearing the pattern paper. So I had to lay another layer of Mod Podge on it. Okay. So in a way this is kind of delicate, but it's not for that purpose. This is to put your journal in to keep it safe. It's not to go take to the store and put all your junk in it, you know, your purse junk in it. So that's why I'm calling it kind of like a dust jacket. Um, if you guys do happen to get the clear plastic to put a layer on top, then by all means, you can use it as your purse and fill it up with your purse junk and take it everywhere. But since this only has a layer of Mod Podge on it or a couple layers, I would not recommend doing that. So I just wanted to kind of show you, maybe you guys would get ideas, especially if you have a sewing machine. It's just straight stitches, you know, um, so that was it. <laughs> this one's claimed already. I might make another one. I'm not sure. Um, but I just thought this would, you know, go with the sewing themed. So, all right. Well, that was it. I guess I will talk to you soon. I got lots more to show you. <laughs> Bye.